Hey guys, so I ordered the Hatsune Miku DIY Shoyu kit from Japan Center. We have two turquoise cookies. We have some some fresh ramen noodles. A matcha detox cocktail, cha siu barbecue, red ginger, spring onions, kiku rage mushrooms, and some nori seaweed sheets. The Nita Mago egg marinade. A 12 hour tonkotsu soup stock. We also have one of the limited edition Hatsune Miku tote bags. Some Hatsune Miku skewers for our eggs and some cookie paper as well as um, placemats. We have um, an instruction booklet that tells us all the steps um, for the ramen and it also turns into another placemat. So let's get cooking. So first we need to boil an egg for our ramen. So now we are going to marinate our egg in the little pot of egg marinade. We're going to leave our egg marinade in the fridge for an hour. Now we are going to do the tonkotsu stock. So we're bringing 400 millilitres of water to the boil and then and now we are pouring the stock to create our ramen soup. Now I'm going to slice the pork and the spring onions. Next we are browning each side of the pork in the frying pan. My egg has now finished marinating. I've boiled some water ready for the ramen noodles and we're going to add the noodles and boil them for 45 seconds. And we are done. Now it's just time to put everything into the bowl. And here is the finished Hatsune Miku ramen. So this DIY uh, ramen kit was a little bit pricey. It worked out about um, 45 pounds, but this does do two servings, so two bowls of ramen. We've got enough um, cocktail for two, two cookies, two placemats. It tasted as if I was having a restaurant meal. The cookie was really soft. The matcha cocktail tasted amazing. I am a big fan of um, matcha flavoured foods. It wasn't too strong, it wasn't bitter, it was sweet. It had a little bit of citrus in there. So I would rate this flavour wise a 9 out of 10. So that's the Hatsune Miku ramen. Let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video.